Hello again, it's your internet dad, sharing life lessons I offered my own sons in the hope that they'll help you. These videos come out uh, twice a week, so think about becoming a subscriber and you won't miss any. Now today's talk is entitled Buddy Banking. How to lend money to your buddies and get it back again. You may be faced in the future with a request from a friend uh, who needs some money for a specific period of time for a specific purpose and you may want to help but there's a right way of doing it that I'm going to suggest to you. The first rule of lending any money is only lend the amount of money you can afford to lose. You don't want to find yourself in the same predicament as your friend if suddenly he can't repay. Uh, the money to you. Now when I'm talking about lending money, I'm not talking about uh, lending somebody 10 bucks to buy the next round of beers in a pub. It's serious money for serious causes. And I'm suggesting to you that a private loan to a buddy should pass three tests. One, it should be in a worthy cause not to feed some booze or drug ha ha habit that he may have. Secondly, you should have a reasonable expectation of getting paid back. And thirdly, you got to lend it to him in an efficient way that will minimize his embarrassment for having to borrow from you. Let's take an example. Perhaps a friend has a car repair, let's say 1200 bucks, that he has to pay because he needs the car to go to work. He's maxed out his credit cards. He doesn't know what to do and he's turned to you as a friend. He promises that he can pay you back at 50 bucks a week for six months. Now, that has passed the first two tests. It's obviously a worthy cause, uh, number one. And number two is to keep him employed so his salary is going to keep coming in. So that should make it possible for you to get paid. Now, the third test has to be done properly or you Lose, may lose a friend and certainly you may lose your money. So get it right. Firstly, get a written agreement that states how much you're lending and for how long and what the repayment schedule is. Make two copies. Each of you sign it and keep your own copies so there won't be any mis misunderstanding later. Now we don't use bank checks a lot these days but they're very useful tools in my recommendation on how you do private loans as a way of enforcing it and getting payments done promptly. Let's say that it's not that convenient for you to pick up 50 bucks off him every Friday night. So if you both agree you could think of $200 a month. In that case, what you should do before you give them the money is get six checks payable to you in the amount of $200 dated the first of the month for the next six months. The idea is that you will deposit the check on the first of each month and he knows that if he's going to have a problem, needs a delay on the check being presented, that he'll contact you and you'll uh, be able to delay the deposit. Now the question is, what happens if a check bounces halfway through the six month period? The person could be in trouble, but you're holding his checks. It's much more likely that you're going to get paid 
because you're holding these uh, uh, data checks, then amounts of money that he may owe somebody else because the authorities take it very seriously if you write checks against money you don't have. Now, as an alternative to this, if you like, uh, once a month you meet, he gives you $200 in cash and you give him the check from that particular month because you won't be depositing it yourself, of course. If you go through this procedure, get the check schedule, get the payments ready, it'll be the most efficient way of lending money to your buddy and increasingly, increasing the likelihood that you'll get it back. So don't just hand in cash and trust that you'll both remember it. Write out the agreement, get into write out the checks, and you'll get paid back, probably. Now, if you have a friend who may be in this position, uh, by all means share the link, internetdad.us. Uh, if all goes well, you'll have the satisfaction of helping out a buddy in need, and you will have minimized any of the embarrassment of the need for the loan, and you don't have to ever mention it to him or to anyone else again. Till next time.